the fall of communism in Europe. In the early 1900s, conflict in Russia grew between the government and the nation's inhabitants. Struggles of poverty and inequality intensified as the Russian government became increasingly corrupt. As tension grew in Russia, protesters began petitioning against Tsar Nicholas II due to famine and labor strike. 1905, in St. Petersburg, unarmed demonstrators were shot down by the Imperial Guard as they marched towards the Winter Palace to present their petition. This event became to be known as Bloody Sunday, which marked the beginning of the Russian Revolution. Throughout the next decade, rebellion spread throughout the country which led to the overthrow of the Tsarist autocracy in 1917. After the overthrow of the Tsarist government, a power struggle broke out between the Provisional Government, a Socialist Party, and the Bolsheviks. Lenin was the leader of the Bolsheviks, whose concepts came from German natives Karl Marx and Frederick Engels, who published a novel titled The Communist Manifesto and Some Influences from Mao Zedong. Mao Zedong was a communist leader of the People's Republic of China, whose ideology spread throughout the world. After the struggle for power ended and the Bolsheviks were able to overpower the socialists, Lenin and the Communist Party self-appointed themselves as the primary government in Russia. This gave way for the creation of the Union of Soviet Specialist Socialist Republics in 1922. As the years progressed, communist ideologies spread throughout Eastern Europe and the USSR began to take over under the enforcement of the Red Army. After World War II, during the mid-1900s, the U.S. became After World War II, during the mid 1900s, the U.S. became increasingly aware of the spread of communism throughout Europe and other parts of the world. The U.S. got involved in the Cold War, which was composed of many different revolutionary wars around the world. We did this because we felt that communism was a threat to the stability and freedom of the world and believed that the Soviet Union's Iron Curtain would do whatever it could to spread its ideology to as much of the world as possible. While con communism looks good on paper, it takes away personal freedoms and beliefs, as history has shown. There was a great deal of tension and distrust between the United States and the Soviet Union as time passed. As more and more problems grew in Germany, a partially allied state, the country split in half creating two different sides, East and West. This separation was made possible by the overnight construction of the Berlin Wall. As transportation and food supply was cut off in Germany, the U.S. supported their German allies through the Berlin Airlift, which was an airdrop supply filled with crates that had food and other necessities. Life in the West became much better than the other half of the country financially thanks to the development of the Marshall Plan, implemented by the United States. This caused people to escape from East Germany and go to the West. People began realizing that the communist way of life turned out to be not as beneficial as initially thought. Peaceful protesting and a number of people escaping led to the tearing down of the Berlin Wall on November 9, 1989. This marked what is believed to be the end of communism in Europe. This event laid foundation for modern countries to establish governments similar to the United States and the rest of the Western world. If the spread of communism continued and wasn't stopped, the world as we know it could be completely different.